Hello, welcome to Transformer Step by Step Studio Series Blitzwing. So this is uh, Transformer Step by Step, and this is Studio Series 86. Uh, not 86, I, I'm getting so used to saying Studio Series 86 because it's taken over Studio Series. There's no more movie figures in sight. I mean, well, the, there are the leaked ones because, of course, there are. I mean, there's Dark of the Moon, Sideswipe, and uh, Grindor, which is Blackout, except not Blackout, but it is Blackout. Uh, <laughs> anywho, that's off topic. This is uh, Transformed Bumblebee Studio Series Blitzwing. Although he... This is obviously Starscream. You're just too afraid to use actual Starscream to, because he died. And also, for those who uh, are observant... I have a new background. <laughs> it's built with a bunch of transformers there. But this guy, so before I get into everything, let's do a pencil test because this guy is a lot. So he's a Voyager class figure, so he's taller than the actual pencil. Well, I mean not really. Like his actual body ends here, but then his kibble ends up here. So it's like He's huge. And also, uh, this isn't the prescriber. Oh, no, 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 no. You're supposed to put these missile things on. But they always fall off, and, and you can't... They're really easy to lose. I'm surprised I haven't lost them yet. Uh, one second. They're supposed to go... They're supposed to go... If they'll f fit. Right there. And it makes them look cool, granted. But, bloop, they fall off. And you don't even need them for the transformation. Uh, I mean, you, you should just, like, throw them off to the side. And there, you can also put them there, because they work with 5mm pegs, so that's at least a plus side. By the way, these are weird accessories to have. Like, I get that you want to have, like, the missiles and all that, because that completes the design, but I mean, seriously, who's going to keep the... <laughs> They're really easy to lose, is what I'm trying to say. And that's not to mention... That the other accessories he has. Oh, I've lost him multiple times, and I'm thankful that I found him again. So let me just take off all his things and also his hands because, uh, again, five millimeter pegs, which is cool, which means you can plug in guns to his hands. But okay, so this is what he's supposed to look like just normal, nice, and stuff. Uh, but he here's the accessories he comes with this is the throat cutty outy thing. The Of course, of course it drops on camera. Why not? Why not? One second, I gotta get this. Thank goodness I didn't lose it. It's like right, uh, almost underneath the part of the desk I couldn't see. So this guy right here, yeah, I mean, pretty cool. I mean, it's the throat cutty outy thing because that's what he used to cutty out his throat and bumblebee. <laughs> uh, so that, you know, he didn't have a voice box because psychological mind tricks. Oh yeah, for those of you who don't know, the reason Bumblebee doesn't speak in any of the, in a lot of the movies, is it's a psychological mind trick that makes you think of him less as a actual being and more of a pet in sort of ways. So yeah, I mean, it worked. I love the movie. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I, I love the movie more because it's a good Transformers movie. Not to say the other ones weren't good. It just, it's more of a story-driven movie. Michael Bay movies were, are awesome. They're just, I forgot the story. <laughs> I'm three minutes in and I haven't gone to the transformation. Jeez, I gotta hurry this up. This is his gun. His handgun. His literal handgun. Like, his hand in the movie turns into a gun. I mean, it's pretty cool, but I mean, you can sort of fake a barrel like that. Well, not a barrel, a magazine like that, because that's part of his kibble. And I mean, like, that's the only good use for that kibble, because it's very loose. So, I mean, the slightest touch will be like, bloop. Uh, and, yeah, that's, a, that's about it. You can store everything on his back here, but no, do, don't even try to store it on his back. It's just gonna fall off, of course. <sighs> to transform this guy is, well, uh, is very fun process. The only problem is, just, uh, 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 you'll see. Also, by the way, this, if you try to move his arm for, of course, when I, when I do it. If you try to move his arm, let me see if I can actually get it to do the thing I, I want it to do on camera. It unpegs the backpack. 
like if you try to move it up it unpegs the backpack it's not doing it on camera but it always does it like it just the entire backpack unpegs like that so yeah they fixed it on the star screen version but hey also by the way welcome to the first step of transformation do this thing then flip up these side panels and have them look like this that that's good right okay now flip out the hands uh, of course, this side already ha has done that by itself. And uh, twist the entire head around. That's not required, but it's what I need to do to actually make this worthwhile. Because if I try to do it like this, I'm just going to scratch up the paint. And it's going to be a rough process. That's the worst part of the, of the transformation. Like, until I figured, you know, just swivel the head around. This was like a pain to get through. But now, whoop. And then open up the cockpit. Uh, you're gonna have to slide this head all the way back forward and then flip it in then flip off the cockpit and then do a little thingy with this where it just do, just keep it like this it's gonna look like spaghetti in a second but, but stay with me here flip up this uh, cockpit piece uh, cock the, the nose cone flip up the nose cone and then turn this entire thing around but it can only turn on one side which is really weird <laughs> And now, we have to get to the part where it's going to look like spaghetti. So, first thing you want to do for the spaghetti recipe is flip out these little side things on his legs and flip in the feet. Now, flip in the front of the feet into the feet. It's, it's very strange. And then flip out these little uh, wing parts and flip these out. Now, do you see why this is spaghetti? Because it's... It's just a lot of random parts sticking out uh, out of nowhere that you're going to have to fix in a second. So now flip this entire thing around and then tab these together. Like that. Now on camera this may look a very unfun, but trust me, like once you get it down, it's fun to do. <laughs> and then uh, flip down this thing like that. Uh, before you do that, uh, actually flip out this last peg and then flip this in. You know, keep these together because, of course, I did that wrong. And uh, just try to collapse this and then you can flip these things out like they're supposed to be. Uh, well, they're not supposed to be like that. I'll get to that in a second. And then flip this entire thing down onto here and then just uh, bend the elbows all the way and... Tab in the thingies, like that. Like the hand stuff, tab them in there. This is the most annoying part. Well, this is the second, there's a lot of, there's like one or two annoying parts. That it was the head part, and now this part is super annoying because it's just, ah, uh, it's a mess of panels and stuff. It's very unfun. But after you're done with that, Look at the sleek mode, but don't focus on these back parts. They're just hanging out there. Like, I mean, it's weird, but I mean, what are you going to do? It's, it's th With this design, it's like, well, where are we going to stick the feet? <laughs> you can't, like, there's nowhere you can flip them into besides the middle of the plane. But, I mean, it, it's just like, it's understandable why the feet are out there. Now, this plane is so cool, but it's the wrong plane. <laughs> Okay, so this is not the plane he transformed into in the movie. The wings were lower, the, the, the cockpit was way different. It didn't have this little twin pike thing, but it's probably a copyright thing, like with the design of the vehicle or whatever, so I'm not going to blame Hasbro. We got a jet. Like, do you really care to the exact minutia of what exact plane it was? Who's going to display their thing like this? Like, no, like, a lot of people, okay, lot, some people might, but I mean, most people are going to display it in the robot mode because, I mean, he has a lot of stuff for his robot mode. So, yeah, I mean, like, it, this not being the exact plane is not that big of a deal. Also, it has landing gear, so that's cool. Other than that, you can also store everything here, which makes this really good. Now, instead of storing this little hand, like, where it's obviously going to go, no, 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 store it on the side of the wings. You know, store, store it like that. It's not going to pop off or anything. Uh, and then this little 
thing here is supposed to tab into right there. And you can just pretend that that's a giant gun and you can kill people with just like, I mean, that that's a huge gun on the underside of a plane. That, that, that's going to mess people up. Uh, and also, these little missile thingies can tab into the bottoms of his thingies right there. That little peg is where this peg plugs in. Explanation. There you go. And that is Studio Series Blitzwing. It's a really good figure. Yeah, I don't have anything else to say besides that. I mean, like, this figure is great, and I'm glad we got some Bumblebee stuff. I mean, it's just, it's awesome to actually see, like, a bunch of, you know, stuff I saw on the big screen come to life. And if you're wondering why I'm saying that, I just got into the Studio Series line. Well, I got more into the Studio Series line. And it, 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 it's awesome. Now, because, I mean, this is half of Devastator. <laughs> I will review him someday. Be prepared for that one. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you like the content you see, you want to hit that like button and subscribe. See you next one. Goodbye.